Hi, welcome to this tutorial on showing you how a sine theta plus b cos theta, a and b are constants, is identical to r sine theta plus alpha, where r is the constant that equals the square root of a squared plus b squared, and alpha is also a constant that is equal to the inverse tan of b over a. So in order to do this I'm going to take the right hand side and show you that it's identical to this left hand side. So we start then by saying that now r sine of theta plus alpha is identical to, well it's going to be identical to r multiplied by the expansion of sine of theta plus alpha. Now this is not sine theta plus sine alpha is is a common mistake, but you should know the expansion of the sine of one angle plus another angle. It comes from this identity here. The sine of one angle plus another, let's call them a and b, a would be theta, b would be the alpha in this example, and the a and b has nothing to do with the a and b's up here that I'm using. Okay. Sine of a plus b is identical to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So using this identity what we've got is that this becomes the sine of theta cosine of alpha plus then the cosine of a which is cosine theta and then sine of alpha. All right. OK, so I'll just remove this identity as we progress down through here. Give us room. So all I want to do now is just expand the bracket. So we get R sine theta cos alpha and then plus R cos theta sine alpha. And next I want to rearrange this. I want to rearrange this first term and write it as R cos alpha sine theta and for this term here rearrange it to r sine alpha cos theta. Now r and alpha are constants so that means that r cos alpha is a constant and so I can call that constant let's say a so I've got a sine theta and similarly, when I come to this term, r is a constant, alpha is a constant, so r sine alpha will be a constant. And I'm going to call that constant b. So we've got b times cosine theta. So can you see that what we've got here is essentially what I had up here. So I've been able to prove to you that r sine theta plus alpha then is identical to a sine theta plus b cos theta, where a and b are constants. Now, the question is, we need to figure out what r and alpha are. And to do that, what I do is I compare the coefficients of sine theta. So we see that r cos alpha is identical to the a. And over here, when I compare the coefficients of cos theta, we see that r sine alpha is the b. So, we'll write over here that result we can start with this, we can say that r sine alpha equals b, r sine alpha equals b, and if we compare these two, we can see that r cos alpha equals the a. And if I number these two equations 1 and 2, then if I divide equation 1 by equation 2, what's this going to give me? Well, r sine alpha divided by r cos alpha is going to equal b divided by a. But when I look over here the r's would cancel and I'll be left with sine alpha over cos alpha equals b over a. And sine alpha divided by cos alpha is better known as tan alpha. So I'm going to write tan alpha equals b divided by a. And so to get alpha I would need to inverse tan both sides. So alpha would equal the inverse tan of b divided by a. And that 
was one of the results that I wanted to show you. The other result is that r equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. And to do that, what I'm going to do is take each of these equations, 1 and 2, and square them and add them together. So equation 1 squared plus 2 squared gives. Well, what does it give us? Well, if I was to square the first one, I've got r squared sine squared alpha equals b squared. And if I was to square number 2, I've got r squared cos squared alpha equals a squared. And if I add the two together, I end up with r squared sine squared alpha plus r squared cos squared alpha is equal to b squared plus a squared. Now if I pull out r squared as a common factor, we've got r squared bracket sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha. And that's going to be equal to b squared plus a squared. But I prefer to write it as a squared plus b squared. It looks nicer. It's in alphabetical order as well. Now, sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of the same angle. You should know this result. It's a basic identity. It always comes to 1. So what we've got here is r squared times 1, which is just r squared. So r squared equals a squared plus b squared. And to get r, I just need to square root both sides. So r is equal to the square root then of a squared plus b squared. So there you go. r is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. And we've got, as I say, alpha inverse tan of b over a. So if you get an expression like this, we can turn it into this form. And you can work out your values of r and alpha by these equations without having to resort to all of this method. So I would strongly encourage you to learn this identity. It would save you an awful lot of time. OK, well that brings us to the end of this tutorial and I hope you've been able to follow my methods.